Where's the first place I should go? Well, the first thing you should do is probably, I'm the only one to say that here on YouTube or wherever you're listening to, but that is the truth. Well, Ricky, how do I know when I'm ready? And the real answer is, okay. Okay, we are live. We are live, up and running. Hello, everybody. And welcome back to the Ricky Tura podcast, episode 72. 72 episodes in people, we've made the comeback on episode 60, meaning we're 12 episodes in to this rebirth, like you can say, um, but yeah, yeah, I'm in my shop clothes today, very cold here today in England, so I'm going to keep that short and sweet for you, that's why I'm, I'm still in the shop attire, but listen, it's freezing in here, so let's leave that at that, let's just dive straight into this episode because guys the title of this episode is a special one to me it really is a special one unto me because this is the root of how this journey of mine begun and I thought you know what I talk about it all the time so why not just put it in some sort of steps for somebody that wants to kind of indulge and and start out in this magical journey. So how to learn magic. That's right, how to learn magic. Now, I've talked about this in past few episodes, but I've kind of centered it it around me, and it still will be centered around me in this episode. However, I'm kind of breaking down the steps for you, if you're interested in this, but from my experience so this isn't a generalized how to learn magic i'm sure there's other videos on youtube or wherever you you get your videos from that can talk about that this is for me that i'm just passing on to you so sometimes things that work for me don't work for you sometimes things that work for me could possibly work for you you've got to find out your learning style Uh, i will be breaking down learning styles here as well so yeah, this is this is going to be uh, a good one for me. Uh, I, I like talking about stuff like this as well because a lot of people say to me, especially at gigs and stuff, how did you learn? How did you learn this? How did you get into it? Uh, what's your favourite trick? This and that. So yeah, guys. So let's just uh, let's jump straight into it, shall we? How to learn magic. So if you're interested in magic, I'm guessing. You've maybe seen someone on TV or maybe you've seen something online on social media that's kind of sparked your interest on it and you're thinking, well, where's the first place I should go? Well, the first thing you should do is maybe get a pack of playing cards. And you're probably thinking, well, Ricky, I've probably got a pack of playing cards. Do I need a specific one? The answer is no. I started off with an Emirates playing cards, and I've talked about this in past episodes. I think it were just stuff playing cards that you get in like a package on a plane. It will be there, and I just tugged on to 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 them and uh, started my journey. So yeah, I'm pretty sure every household has a one pack of playing cards in there. So if you're listening to this and you're thinking, well, have I got a pack of playing cards? You probably have. There is a good percentage that you do have in your house. If you're not sure where it is, you can maybe ask your parents or you probably know where it is. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's the first thing I'd recommend because card magic is the most universal and the easiest way to start out and then you can kind of branch out into other areas as well because if you're looking uh, at a magician online or on TV a good percentage of the time they are using playing cards maybe you've looked at cool stage illusions and stuff like that still at some point in that entertainer's life magician's life illusionist's life they have done magic with playing cards okay that you've got to start out somewhere they did not start out cutting people in half or walking on water i probably I'm the only one to say that here on YouTube or wherever you're listening to, but that is the truth. They all started off from somewhere, and playing cards, there is a high percentage that they did start off with that, unless they were born into a magic family or whatever. But yeah, start off with playing cards. The reason why I'm telling you to do that is because obviously that's the most universal, and then the next step 
It's to get yourself online. You've got a phone. Come on. In this day and age, everybody has a phone, right? Get yourself on YouTube, man. For me, I'm a very visual learner. I learn more visually and practically than reading and maybe somebody telling me what to do. If somebody's telling me what to do, I'd rather them show me whilst I'm doing it. So that's why I rotate to gravitate, sorry, towards YouTube and videos that interest me. But when you're starting out, you literally just want to go on YouTube, t- type in magic tricks, reveal, uh, not revealed, because I'll just show you a load of like TV stuff revealed. Uh, you want to type in like magic tricks, tutorials, stuff like that, and pick an easy one. Maybe type in in the search bar magic tricks beginners, and you'll see a whole load of YouTube videos and channels teaching you stuff. Now, I don't know the top channels of this day and age, okay, because I don't really gravitate towards YouTube tutorials anymore, you'll find this out probably the more you get into magic, the less you'll you'll use of YouTube, there is an argument for that, but for me necessarily I don't go on YouTube at this point in my magical journey, however for starting out I 100% recommend going on YouTube and checking out a YouTube video for beginners. Do not throw yourself in the deep end because you will get frustrated straight away and you will probably find out that you'll need to maybe do slight adjustments to your playing cards, maybe get another pack of playing cards, different coloured playing cards. You don't want any of that stuff yet for starting out. You just want your pack of playing cards and you want to go on a beginner magic tutorial on YouTube and you want to just go on one video. Now, I know in this day and age, our lifespans are very, very low. So you will probably get very impatient. And you'll be in that Netflix template of which magic trick shall I pick. And this is a problem in this day and age. And I don't want to get off topic, so I'm going to bring it straight back in here. But in back in my... Flipping hell, I feel old. Back in my day, mate, is we didn't really have short... Uh, attention span so we used to watch like a a 10 to 20 minute tutorial video and learn that mate for like a week but the problem you guys might have is you'll click on one you'll be like oh I don't like that and then you'll click on another one and then you just go down a rabbit hole of finding a trick you like and mate that is not the way you want to start out maybe you could do that maybe like I don't know a year in two years in I don't know it depends how fast you learn on it you guys know yourselves better than me But for myself, I just looked at one. I went, you know what, let's learn that one. It's good enough. Maybe I clicked on maybe two videos, three at most. You know what I mean? I didn't go down a rabbit hole of, oh my God, who's this YouTuber? Oh my God, I should follow him on Instagram and stuff. No, no, mate. (laughs) Because the the whole point is for you to to learn it, not to to indulge on social media about it. So, yeah, you want to just pick one that you like. Maybe go... I'll let you off, maybe like click on maybe one, two, maximum three, okay, don't don't go over three, um, and see which one you like, maybe look at it, okay, I like this tutorial, and uh, get yourself going, mate, get your pack of cards out, and yeah, go, and obviously make sure it's a playing card tutorial, don't click on like a, I don't know, like a coin video or like a sponge balls video or something like that and be like, well, I don't have the equipment, rookie didn't tear. Just, just go on a card one because that's how I started out and then slowly but surely you will branch out and find your style, but that's, that's way, way down the line. So yeah, like I said, I'm a visual learner. Uh, it, it helps me a lot to actually see somebody do it whilst I'm doing it. So maybe if you that type of visual person you can kind of go along with it remember you're just starting out don't put a lot of pressure on yourself pause the video learn a little bit yourself whilst you've got it paused be like okay so he or she or they showed me this i'm going to do that start the video go on to the next step of the tutorial bish bash bosh show somebody in your household and that's it or your mate and that's it that's literally it that's it, job done. This has been your boy Ricky Two right now. But literally, that's it, guys. And as easy as that sounds, it's going to take a lot of time for you to practice. That's why I'm saying go on something beginner, like something that you 
you probably think, oh, it's a bit shite from what I've seen um, on TV of like, I don't know, Dynamo walking on water. Well, listen, Dynamo had to do something like this in order to, to get there. So just put it that way. So for you learning something, a very easy tutorial magic trick and maybe showing your mum, your dad, your friend, your dog, I don't know, um, someone, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll get there and you don't rush it. That's the thing what I'd say. Don't rush it. Take your time with it because you're just starting out. It's it's a beginner's... Remember, you're a beginner. Beginners always start at zero. Remember, I started at zero. Remember, your favourite magician that you've watched on TV started at zero. And just remember, you actually started at zero. Like, I don't want to get too deep into it, but you were a kid at one point. You were a baby. You had to learn how to walk at one point, and you did it by yourself. You started from zero. So just remember when you're learning a magic trick, just look at that one video that you want and just practice it. I don't know, maybe possibly get a table in front of you so you can put your cards down or something somewhere, maybe on a sofa where you have your phone leaned up, wherever it's comfortable for you to practice, somewhere quiet maybe, your bedroom or maybe in a living room with no one there. And then when you feel like you've got it down to a T, and what I mean is you can do it without watching the tutorial video and you can actually communicate what you're trying to present then you should perform it. Now, the problem is, that's the problem, isn't it? You're probably thinking, well, Ricky, how do I know when I'm ready? And the, the real answer is you don't. <laughs> You're probably thinking, what? I've spent about 100 days in my bedroom practicing this trick, Ricky. Um, yeah, you, you don't know when you're ready. You kind of just go for it. So I know I've said before, you know, put it down to a T, but you don't really know unless you perform it. And performing is a whole different video, right? Maybe that's like a different video I'll do, but you just know, right? Make sure you just, to, what for this video, get it down to a T, all right? Learn it, then turn the video off, see if you can do it. If you can't do it without the video, turn the video back on and be like, okay, this is where I messed up. Bish, bash, bosh. Make sure to you can perform it without the video and you can translate it. Hey, pick a card out, put it in. I'm going to try and find your card. Is that your card? Yes. That's it. Just a presentation. Keep it very, very simple. I use the KISS method, okay? This isn't getting weird, this video. Stay with me here. I use the KISS method. Keep it simple, silly. Do not overcomplicate it. Do not learn and begin a video and then try and put like a load of sentences in a simple magic trick because it doesn't need to be complicated. So don't be like, oh, hey, mum, here, here, I'm going to spread the cards out and you shall take one out and then I shall place it in and I am going to muddle the cards up and then once after the jumble, I shall take one out and maybe your card will be there, maybe it won't. We will see, but not necessarily. It Just don't, you know what I mean? Don't add a load of words. Just keep it simple, keep it fresh because then you can build onto that as you go on to your magic journey, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. And that's basically the step-by-step -step for visual learners, okay? Now, them steps can be applied to anything else, guys, okay? So, you're probably thinking, well, Ricky, I'm listening to you, mate, but I'm not a visual learner. Like, I don't really like watching videos. That's not how I learn. Well, I like watching videos, but I don't learn from watching videos. What else can I do, Rick? Well, don't worry, I got you, fam. Ricky's got you, okay? So if you're not necessarily want to take that YouTube route, obviously get your pack of cards, but books, you can read magic books, they do exist. People that are like reading and learning from reading and stuff, you like your books and stuff, there are too many, too many, many, do you know like that Skepta song, Too Many Men, there's too many books, too many, many magic books. And that's a good thing. Because not many people read magic books, like myself. Uh, I have got a few, but I don't learn necessarily do it often. I like the, the visual part. That's why I talked about that first. But for you folks that like books, 
they're a big help. It took me a while. It took me a while. However, you can get it. So if you type in, I don't know, Amazon, uh, I'm going to go to my third point and it will tie into this point as well. But I'm just using Amazon as an example here. So if you go on to Amazon, uh, you type in uh, magic tricks, trick books for beginners, something like that. Come on, guys, use your imaginations here. In this day and age, I don't really have to tell you what to type in. You can just type it in. Uh, and um, it'll come up and there's there's a few books that I have uh, it's the uh, Tower Bell Course for Magic Art of Astonishment, so that's Paul Harris Art of Astonishment, there's uh, Royal Road to Card Magic as well that's a very popular one for beginners um, probably the first two that I've mentioned are a bit advanced so I'd probably stick to the Royal Road to Card Magic, however I think any magic book really f if you type in magic book for beginners it'll, any magic book really is um, very helpful for you for you uh, people that don't necessarily like learning from videos there is one advantage that I have found from magic books that I will pass on to you guys and you it's it's the same as actually reading a book so when you read a book let's say for example Harry Potter the book is different to the movie right I've read a little bit of Harry Potter books. I'm not a big reader. I've read like a little bit of it. And it sparks your imagination of what's happening when you're reading. Okay, it sparks your imagination. So when you watch the movie, the movie's one point. But when you're actually reading the book, it sparks a whole different aspect in your mind to what actually happens. And that's the same with magic books, guys. So like I said, like you're watching a video on YouTube about a magic trick. That same magic trick could be in a book. But you think of it differently because your mind's working now compared to actually you just looking at it and the video doing the work for you. So when you're reading a magic book, it sparks that creativity of what it could be. And that's the best thing about books is that you kind of make it up in your mind of how you're going to actually, how it works and how you're going to perform it and practice it. So that's the beautiful thing about it. And I feel like if you're a creative the books is definitely one that I recommend because I feel like I'm a creative and books is just something slowly that I'm trying to get into. I have got into it in the past. I've fallen off. I've gotten back onto it again. I don't necessarily look back on it, do it now, but I should do and I will do. And so if, yeah, it sparks your creativity. So even if you're a visual learner and you've maybe followed the steps that I've said earlier in this video and you're like, well, let me try a book, hop on to Amazon, something like that get a book and try it because listen it's not like uh, it's going to do you any harm and you put you could put your own twist as a beginner how insane is that your own twist on a, on a trick as a beginner just because you've read it and you've interpreted it in your way so that's uh, that's another little tip for you right there um so you like books you know youtube there's so many other ways to learn magic guys and this next point is Probably something I didn't do at the beginning, but I feel, I feel like it should be mentioned because in this day and age, it's, it's a necessary thing. I didn't really find it back then, probably in 2011, until after the YouTube videos, when I kind of got a little bit bored. Uh, I'd probably say maybe a couple of years after I started doing Magic Tricks, I, I went on to this next step. But this necessarily can help you as a beginner. I just didn't find it until a couple of years after on my journey, but I feel like it will help you guys on your journey as uh, on to learning magic, and that is magic shops. Now, in this day and age, you've got online magic shops, which is even more great, meaning that you don't have to leave the house, uh, you know, and traveling somewhere and, you know, getting a magic trick. You can just pick a magic trick online. It has its ups and downs, but I'm just going to talk about online magic shops for now. And you've got your benefits of actual magic shops. But from my experience, online magic shops have helped me a lot. They're great. Honestly, that's like your mentor, basically, for, for magic. You can you can message them, say, look, I'm a beginner. And if you've got any tricks to help me out. And m most of the time on magic shops, they actually have a beginner's section. So you can actually click on the beginner section and see all the magic tricks they have that you can buy that uh, you can learn. Now, like I said, please just focus on one. 
because the thing with online magic stores is you can buy the whole store but there's only a certain amount of time you can practice and then you'll get frustrated so I please recommend you just to pick one it's not like the YouTube videos where I said one two or three please just pick one open a new tab on your computer put the ones that you like on a new tab and then slowly eliminate them like okay so now I've gone through my list I've got like five here oh, I didn't really like that one boom you got four. Oh, I didn't like that one boom 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 until you got one buy that if you're if you're just starting out you're a child please ask your parents to buy that for you if you're an adult you know what to do just pick the one and uh, wait till that comes to you and learn it from there most likely there could be something delivered to your house where it's something physical uh, that you buy or you can it can be a download where you can learn it straight away either way it's it's something that you're buying that possibly isn't on youtube or maybe it's in a more quality quality um it's more of a quality video so it's more explained so you can easily learn it so there's so many different ways, so many different tricks you can buy, but please start off with one if you're going online and doing it that way. There is a couple of other different ways as well that I really want to say. These are probably, in my magical journey, I got these a bit later on. I started learning magic in 2011. I did not do this one until four years after on my magical journey. But this still helps you if you're wanting to learn magic. And that is magic clubs. Now I know we all live in different places in the world, different cities. There is most likely a magic club in your city or just outside of your city or local town. So I am part of the Bradford Magic Circle. So I'm not too far away from there to be honest. And I applied to Bradford Magic Circle back in 2015 I think I wrote a letter in early 2015 and I didn't go till about July time uh, it was probably the best thing I ever did to be honest with you I was probably about four years into my magic journey never been really around other magicians even though I'm a magician myself I'd always been performing to family and friends and I didn't really have any magician friends and yeah, when you go to your magic club, you know, just search online magic clubs near me and it'll pop up, you'll see what's near you and just go ahead and join. And the one thing that I would say, uh, a tip to join in your magic club is learn a magic trick because you'll have to do like some sort of an X Factor audition into to get in, in there uh, for them to, you know, to be a member. Don't let that scare you because if you followed the points earlier in this video, you would at least had your one trick that you'd learn and uh, you can go on from there but even if you don't I'm sure they will let you in because you're, you're very passionate about magic and you know you've got the desire there uh, but yeah once you get in um, you you experience the world of magic with other magic members and you create your own friends there as well and you can have magic jams and stuff like that and attend other magic events around your area or the UK or the world wherever you are and you'll just connect with more magicians as well so that's probably uh, uh, a great way into um, learning about the history of magic from other people learning from other magicians seeing other magicians perform as well on a on a frequent basis as well so I'd highly highly recommend that if you want my opinion on it I would probably go through the first couple of steps first maybe learning something online first or maybe getting a book and learning from there and then applying to a magic club as well but I don't see why you can't join a magic club even if you even if you haven't learned something yet the only thing I can think of maybe is just the audition at the start but maybe you can just sit there maybe for a couple of uh, club nights and maybe just see and then learn something there and then you do your performance I think you've got to talk to your club magic club that you find and maybe sort some sort of arrangement out but uh, it's honestly the best decision you'll ever make joining a magic club and I've made so many friends from the magic circle so big up to all of you guys that are watching um, very great people and yeah you won't regret it what minute guys we were nearly 25 minutes in man jeez i'm loving this uh yeah probably my last point on this on how to learn magic is like i said magic clubs but another thing is just seeing other magicians live just support magicians 
support your your local magicians if they're performing somewhere or if somebody comes to town like i don't know david blaine penn and teller dynamo they're doing like a cool tour go and see them because you'll learn so much from them and it'll make you more passionate about the craft and actually how much practice that goes into it and maybe you never know you might get a photo with your favorite magician that you've seen on tv or whatever inspired you to get to get um to get into magic and yeah i'd probably say that you know just try and indulge yourself in as much magic and into that world as much as possible because it'll make you think and uh, make you want to perform even more and um, i said that was the last point but this is the real last point before i leave you guys um, because we're nearly hitting 30 minutes on on this video I'd probably say the one thing that kind of sparked my interest before seeing Dynamo on TV, which really got me into it in 2011, I'm going to lean into you guys because this is a, it's a very special memory of mine. I got a magic set from my aunt and uncle. I can't remember the year, but it was definitely before 2011. Um, maybe it could be 2008, 2007, 2008. I got a magic set and I actually got into magic from there as well. Uh, but for me, I, it just sparked it and it didn't necessarily get me anywhere further with it. I kind of just put it away and left it to one side. But it was always in the back of my mind. And then a few years later, I saw Dynamo on TV and the rest is history. But don't let that put you off a magic set. It's a little bit old school, I'm not going to lie to you, but there's always more and more updated magic sets every year. And I'm filming this video in November, well, the end of November, to be precise, the 27th of November. And Christmas is less than a month away. So whether you're a child or an adult, I would recommend a magic set for this time of year. And you never know, because you've got everything there in front of you. You've got all the magic tricks and you've got the explanations on how to do it i think that'd be a great way to start off um everything even before getting on youtube but i left this last because it didn't really spark it for me that's why i went from youtube all the way down to to magic sets however you never know it could be the same for you maybe you might get a magic set it might spark your interest and you might stop and then maybe a few months or years later you you'll get into it and maybe do it somewhere else i don't know you guys know you but yeah i just want to leave you on that and you're like ricky where do i get magic sets go on google man stop being lazy type in magic sets google search boom i know dynamo's got one chris angel's got one i don't know if david blaine's got one you can have a look but yeah have a look get it you never know that might spark your interest but guys my name is ricky no that was bad <laughs> ricky tura i was gonna like do a dj thing ricky 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 tura anyway yeah guys listen i hope you enjoyed this episode shout outs to everybody that watches listens i really appreciate you i do not forget about you guys okay um and yeah i will see you guys next week I really enjoyed this episode, guys, and I hope this did help you into your magical journey and starting out. So, guys, this has been your boy, Rikatura. Peace, stay strong, and remember, always follow your dreams.